YouTubers. Welcome back to Desert Have a Garden. This is day six of our adventure in Missouri. And today we have looking at more property in store. So we have seven properties of interest in Barry County and a team of realtors, um, Jim and Alyssa Hunt, have set up viewings for all seven of those locations for us today. So we're gonna have a jam packed day looking at those. One of them includes a Main Street business and it's a business residential combo and that's not really what we're looking for but here's the deal i've kind of had this dream of having a main street bakery and i know it sounds silly but we just have to check it out um, it's a really affordable price we yesterday drove down the main street and it wasn't a depressed main street so there were still businesses and almost all of the shops and um, this is a really small community so would it support a business like that? Probably not, but because the price is so low, if we did something in conjunction where we were living on the property as well, it would totally balance out and make it worthwhile. But again, it's not the acreage we're looking for. We're considering doing some sort of a combo. Anyway, we, out of curiosity, want to check it out. Um, so that's on the agenda for today. So stay tuned. All right, here we are at the first house of the day and the house is fine. Um, it would need some updating and stuff, but nothing big. It would definitely work for us. What it is missing that we would like is a basement. Um, there are some outbuildings that are great for storage shops and things like that. And the land is nice. Um, it's about what's expected around here. We've got some pasture and some trees. Um, a downside is that you can hear a quarry really close by. Um, so I guess that only is weekdays, eight to five, but there is a lot of noise. It sounds like thunder, really, um, from the quarry. So the price on this one is reasonable and um, it's decent. So we'll keep it on the list, but it's definitely not anything spectacular or amazing. Here we are at house number two and not only do I not like the house, it actually has a serious creepy vibe. So the reason this one was on our list is because there are additional units on the property that are currently rented and the rental income is actually more than the mortgage would be on this place. Um, but I feel like we'd have to like demolish and now it is coming down rain on me so I'm going to get out of this rain. Um, I feel like this needs to be marked off the list. Little froggies jumping into the pond here at the third house of the day. Not sure if you just saw that guy jump in. They're peeping and jumping. Um, this one has a lot of promise. It has nice open pasture acreage, has some outbuildings, and the house has been mostly remodeled. Um, kind of different layout, which is more common for older homes where it doesn't have a, an official master bathroom. It's outside of the master bedroom. But overall, this one is looking pretty good. Though we think there was a squatter there <laughs> who may have run out the basement door when we came in. Um, <laughs> so that's a little bit interesting. Snake skin. What kind of a snake? <laughs> I don't know, it almost looks like a rattlesnake. We don't have those, but... Shed its skin just like that. All right, we're in the Main Street business and this is upstairs in what would be the apartment area. And you can see that um, <laughs> it's in really bad shape. It looks like uh, leaking in the ceiling and stuff. But the business is pretty cool. Like you could have even three to four different business fronts in it. Um, but I don't know, this is in pretty bad shape so. I think we're probably going to pass for now. It's only fair to show you the cute side of the business too. So, um, you know, this could make a really cute little bakery front, but as you see, there's two different business fronts that were combined into one, could be two. And then there's a third business running out the back door with kitchen equipment as well. Could be really a cute little place. So at this house, it's a really old house. It was built in the 1950s. So like many of the houses that were built a long time ago, it was added on to multiple times. So kind of an interesting layout. Um, don't love the house, but there are a lot of really big 
buildings. So this is a big barn. There's another big barn back over this way. And garages. And there's even a little greenhouse over this way. So, um, I don't know, interesting. It's a nice layout of land and kind of um, off the beaten path as well. So we'll keep it in consideration, but I'm thinking no. Hi, cows. Well, at least we know that the ground is fertile, right? We just drove 40 minutes from the last location to this location down winding roads and um, the realtor listing agent is not able to meet us here and there is no walk box and they can only use the code when they're here. So we came all this way and we cannot get inside um, and the blinds are closed. So it looks like that's not happening and the mosquitoes are biting us like crazy. The reason we like this location is because it's very close to the water on Table Rock Lake. Um, but the mosquitoes are pretty awful and we can't get in to see it. So I guess that's uh, as far as we go on house number six for the day. We have found ourselves in some serious backcountry stuff. We are looking for the seventh property of the day and we're getting uh, MapQuest didn't give us the right place and there's multiple farm roads of the same number and we got directions from a gentleman on the road and um, hmm, this is like the makings of a horror film but we're gonna keep trying to find it the sun's setting and we're not lost we know how to get back where we're going so we're just gonna keep trying to find it we found it let's go check out house number seven the final house and then get back out of here this is really remote I don't know if it'll work for us it's like super remote but uh, yeah let's go check it out well this is a really neat property and the house is cute with rustic charm, it would work, uh, doesn't have a basement though. And this is a big property, it's um, over 60 acres, but this is the only flat. The rest is hills and trees and it's really pretty but it's more expensive than we would want for only this much usable and um, yeah I don't know uh, there's no cell service or anything else out here so this probably won't work okay guys this has been a long day it's dark now and we're heading back to the RV park um, we saw the one property today that we thought we may like. Um, it still wasn't perfect, but um, we're going to continue the search. Both of the counties that we were going to drive through tomorrow, uh, Stone and Taney County, all of the properties we were interested in have gone under contract. Stuff is moving fast out here. So we are going to skip those two counties and continue on to Ozark County. And in Ozark County, I think I have 15 listings that we're interested in, including an RV park that we're going to stay at. So that's kind of convenient. We're gonna check out that place. Um, as far as today, it was just a lot of driving in the car. Each property was at least 25 miles from the previous property. And then this last one, when we kind of got lost in the backwoods, um, we knew how to get back where we came from. So we weren't lost in that fashion. We were lost in not knowing where we were going. Um, but anyhow, we're gonna call it a wrap for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for watching our adventure. What do we have going on over here? A bunch of frogs. Do you see how many there are? There are 15 frogs. Yep. Wow, that's a lot of frogs. How'd they get in there? We caught them and oh put my them gosh. in there. That's crazy. Frog hunters. <laughs>